Hello, Junkaholics. So today, we're going to scrap this Avea Media Gateway. Why do they call it a Media Gateway? I don't know. Maybe they had a boardroom meeting and said, hey, how can we charge $500 more for a box of circuit boards? Someone came up with, hey, let's call it a Media Gateway. So, I had a little sneak peek and it's pretty peculiar piece of equipment. So, just let me get set up and we'll get at it. So, just gonna unscrew this door. And there it is. So, first of all, I'm gonna show you this. This was pretty impressive to me. is this bad boy is a um, what you might call it a power supply and there's actually two so uh, they must weigh about 15 pounds a piece and uh, I don't know something this heavy I'm thinking probably ran the space shuttle. So I'm gonna start off by pulling these circuit boards out one by one. This one here. So this part here is gonna be dubbed because in my explanation I was totally wrong. And uh, if it wasn't for scrap at all, doing me a favor and getting a hold of e waste Mike showing them the pictures uh, this is actually high grade telecom actually all the boards in this are high grade telecom so just so you know yet another high grade telecom um, e-waste Mike did say I have to pull that white bracket off the front but that's no big deal by getting some gold corner BGAs IC chips flat packs more of those gold bottom crystal oscillators on the back and there's this one this one I'm thinking is high telecom got some talons on there and stuff I'm just gonna leave it all on there nothing on the back but another high grade because that's what Mike said so I won't be pulling any chips off I'll be leaving that all alone Here, there's a, that's heavily populated. So I'm gonna think that's a high grade telecom. Another high grade board, very similar to the one before. A couple gold corner BGAs, some talons, nothing on the back. One more high grade board. I really want to thank Mike for helping me out with this. I was totally lost and wrong. And uh, you make sure you check check him out because he's a good guy. Then a bunch of spacers that go into the recycle. Come 
open this one. One more high grade board, high grade telecom board actually. And another one of the same boards as last time. So I'm going to flip this bugger around. And uh, we're going to pull the, the back side of this off and see what's on that. So, one moment. So, I flip this thing around, take this, these panels off. In here, we got three big fans. Ooh. that off for now. Three big fans, we're gonna tear them apart with motors. Just gonna release these clips. Just going to cut these, pull these out. They look copper, they don't look gold. So we'll just go in the shred. Come on. Same deal. Let's see. There we go. Same. Come on. Then I'm going to pull off the back cover. Go ahead and cut these wires. Oh, one more. So That's that. So we're back. So now I'm just gonna pull all these wires out. Got some more wire. I don't know if there's anything in here, but hey, we'll open it up.
Here's a whole bunch of nothing. One to shred. Oh, some gold on that. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a lot of gold fingers on here. And we're just going to take this off and we'll see what this is all about. So, I didn't have the bit to remove this. I only had a screwdriver or nut driver. And I just thought I'd save you the pain of watching me unscrew 14,365 really cheap uh, screws. So here we go. As you can see, there's nothing in there, but there is a pile of gold pins. So I'm thinking that's a pin board. Just thought it'd be interesting to see what's inside this power supply since they're so heavy. Chevy mm -hmm. oh. Timbers. There's another board. A bunch of screws. Take a look. So, let's see. Nice piece of extruded aluminum. Some big copper toroids, another piece of extruded aluminum, another piece of extruded aluminum, transformer, one, two, three transformers, four, four transformers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine toroids. So, that's actually pretty exciting. There's a lot of copper in these here. They're definitely worth ripping down. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nice Junk. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to catch the rest of the series in Canada Shipping to Board Sort. That's in the playlist. I'll make sure I put a link at the uh, end of the video. And that was some nice junk.